Black Mamba is the B&M inverted roller coaster at Fantasia Land in Germany, and this is easily one of the most unique inverted roller coasters B&M has ever done. The entire ride is diving in and out of trenches. You're constantly going from light to dark to light to dark. And so because of that, you get a lot of near misses. The ride is located in the African section of the park, and the entire ride is threading through buildings and rock work, caves, greenery, everything. It is amazing. The layout is all over the place. If there is a downside, it meant that filming it was pretty hard. So unfortunately, I was fairly limited on the footage that I can actually shoot of this ride. But I will say, and the same goes for pretty much every ride at Fantasia Land, and that is that this ride, in addition to being great, also looks fantastic. The theming around it is amazing. So let's get in depth here, talk about what you can expect when you go to ride Black Mamba. As with the Law of Rides of Fantasia Land, this one is not particularly tall. We got a max height of 85 feet. The station is located below ground. And so the first little part of the lift hill is located down and then it climbs up, actually threads through a big tall tower. Very cool looking. You even get a little bit of theming inside it. And then you have that drop, which is bigger than the height because once again, it goes underground. That first inversion is a vertical loop. It is one of four inversions on Black Mamba. So that loop is accompanied by a zero G roll and two corkscrews. The other thing that Black Mamba has is what RCDB classifies as a junior Immelman. It's slightly different from an Immelman because it doesn't quite rotate you all the way and so it, it doesn't actually go upside down. The other ride that many of you probably know about that also has this is Icon at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. The only difference, this one, it's on an inverted coaster. But I just want to talk about how immersive this coaster is. I talked a little bit about the immersion while you're actually on the ride, but the queue line and station is just as well themed. The queue line is really long. It's constantly going up and down stairs through little huts, around rock work, through trees, everything. The queue line is actually really cool. It just takes forever to go through. And then you get into the station and let me just say, I hope you're okay in dark spaces because it is pitch black in the station. It is very dark and that's done on purpose. It very much helps set the mood. They have this African music playing and so when the coaster is ready to dispatch, the lights go out even more so than they, I mean, it was already dark, but then it goes to pitch black. You dispatch, the music's going. It is so cool. The other thing I'll say is that when that music plays as the coaster's dispatching, it's pretty loud. I was surprised just how how loud it was and going into this ride I didn't know about any of the stuff that they had throughout the queue or station so I was really impressed right off the bat now in total I got three rides on Black Mamba and unfortunately one of those rides was not in the front row the line for front row was just so long everyone wants to sit in the front row on an inverted coaster and because we only had one day at Fantasia Land and so many other rides that we want to get to I only did Black Mamba in the back and then I also rode second row because I figured, okay, if I don't have time to do in the front row, I at least want to get as close as I can. So I did in the second row, and I actually preferred that to the back for the same reason that I liked the front best on Nemesis. I'm going to draw some comparisons to Nemesis at Alton Towers when describing Black Mamba because it is the other main inverted coaster that people think of that is going in and out of trenches. So much like how I preferred Nemesis in the front row, I'm pretty certain I would have liked front row on Black Mamba the best because I did like second row more than the back row. But as with every other inverted coaster, you're going to get some pros and cons with each. Back row, you're going to get more forwards, you're going to get pulled over, etc, etc. You guys know the drill. But let's get a little in depth with this layout. I talked a little little bit about the beginning, how you drop out of that building, low to the ground, vertical loop. Next one is a zero G roll and that very much hugs the hillside. It is not high off the ground at all. It is crazy. Next up is that junior Immelman that goes around some of that rock work and then you plunge into a trench and get used to that because you're going to see a lot of those. That immediately sends you into a corkscrew and the inversions on Black Mamba are some of the only parts that actually pop up above ground. If I'm not talking about an inversion, there's a very good chance it is below ground level. And that's what makes this ride so cool. So after that corkscrew, you bank to the left, twist around. Ooh, look, we got another trench. And then your fourth inversion, that last corkscrew, banks you to the right, then to the left, then back to the right, once again into a tunnel. And that's something that you'll notice with Black Mamba is the ride layout is very different than most inverts because they specifically fit it for the terrain. So hence why it's constantly changing direction. The ride is twisting one way and then twisting out the other. Now, when I wrote it, I did remember it starting to lose a little bit of momentum towards the end. It didn't keep its pacing as well as some other rides 
that's like one benefit to Nemesis, even though it is a shorter ride than Black Mamba, you are hauling straight into the brake run. This one, it's a longer ride. Because that last part of the ride, you aren't going upside down or anything, you're just twisting in and around, you definitely aren't going as fast as maybe you started off. Because even after those rapid fire twists, guess what? There's even more of them. And that's what sends you into the brake run. Once again, you're in pitch darkness and this is something i saw with karnan because you're constantly going in and out you're going from light to dark it takes a while for your eyes to adjust and so you're kind of disoriented because it takes a while to take in all that is going on karnan when you're in that tower for a solid minute or two and then dropping into the daylight you're completely blinded this doesn't have it nearly to the extent that karnan does but it is definitely still there so for black mama's final score i'm going to give it a nine out of ten only reason why i don't give it a perfect score again i think Think its pacing is not quite as strong as some of the other inverted coasters but i think hands down this is one of the best b&m inverts in the world it is for sure one of my top three favorites and i myself am still going back and forth on whether i prefer this or nemesis i know everyone worships nemesis but i think black mamba doesn't quite get enough credit this ride is really good guys i heard one person describe it it's if you took batman the ride took that layout and put it underground and just surrounded it with theming that's essentially what black mamba is it's very intense Lots of tight elements. And those of you who follow my channel, you know that I love a good terrain coaster and a ride that has theming during the experience. Black Mama combines both of those perfectly. So don't discount this ride. There's a good chance that if you're going to Fantasia Land, it's probably because you've heard all about Terran and how amazing it is. But man, Black Mamba's super good too. This park has just an incredible top two coasters. And the fly coming soon, the park lineup is going to be even more phenomenal than it already is. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Be sure to let me know down in the comments below if you agree with me, if you think that I missed anything. Of course, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and check out other coaster reviews I've done. They're all available in a playlist organized in alphabetical order by the coaster's name. Check that out. See if I've reviewed your favorite ride. And be sure to stay tuned for more. And stay tuned for more. I still got a lot more reviews coming from different parks around Europe. So thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you all next time.